Hey guys, Chris here for Project Nerf again, and today we're going to do a very simple mod on our Zombie Strike Mega Magnus. We're going to put a heavier spring in this thing and uh, see if we can't get that uh, muzzle velocity up to a uh, desirable level. So, we're going to get it apart and I'll get right back to you. As you can see, we've got the shell opened up on the Magnus. Now there's one little thing that you need to remember. Underneath the slide, there is one screw port right here, so you have to uh, get the screws out of the slide and get it to come off first before you can get this last screw out and open the blaster up. So what we're going to do is uh, take a look at the interior here and uh, see what we got to do to change that spring out. And we've got it open up here, and it looks to me, and you can see I already started here, that if we take this screw, And this screw, right, kind of a pain in the rump to hold the camera and work on the blaster at the same time, uh, that we can take the entire trigger assembly out at its one, one unit. And there we go. So yeah, all we had to do was free the end of the plunger tube from this boss here. You can see I've taken the internal mag and all that stuff out of it. Let me set this aside because we have our plunger tube right here and holy cow does it have a monster spring in it so we're going to take a look at uh, seeing what we can do to replace that with something a little stiffer it's not the uh, not the stiffest spring I've ever worked with though it's certainly not the weakest either okay guys that's a stock spring against the ruler and I don't know how well you can see it hopefully the camera will focus but this spring is almost six and a half inches long. It's really a long spring. So what I've got here is a 9 kg Cyclone Shock, supposed to be for Mega Magnus, slash Stampede. Uh, they're all the same diameter, roughly. Nerf Turf spring. Um, and I have stretched it quite a bit to uh, probably within a half inch or so. Um, I don't know that I'll stretch it any more than that. I think probably where we're at will be okay. Uh, it'll make it a little easier to prime, but this should really ramp up our performance. This is a much, much heavier spring. Okay, guys, hopefully you can see it down in here. I'm trying to point it on the screw. There's one, two, and there's another one way up here in the front. Three bosses that uh, kind of clips at the rail from the plunger tube. Uh, snap into, and it's very important that you get it lined up and in those bosses, or unless you'll, your plunger tube will move when you try to prime it, and you don't want that. All you want is the breech to open up and compress the spring. So, very important that you get it back on those bosses, but uh, as you can see, our our heavy spring is in here, in our retainer, and we've got our trigger met back in, so we're going to go ahead and put this thing back together and uh, see what we can do with it. Alright, you can see we're all back together. We're going to go ahead and load it up and uh, fire another set over to Chrono. I'll get right back with you with that data. Okay guys, after our 50 dart set, or I believe somewhere around there, let's see. Our number was 51, with a high of 93, a low of 84, and an average of 87. Okay, guys, uh, we've completed our spring mod, we've completed our Chrono testing. Our first data set was 50 darts. It averaged 67 feet per second, which is right on where these uh, stock Mega Blasters should go. With our spring modification, it averaged 87 feet per second over a 51 dart set. Uh, I could not be more pleased with it, especially uh, if you paid attention to the chrono data that our second set had an extreme spread of only 9. The lowest number that came out the barrel in 51 darts was 84 feet per second. So that makes it uh, considerably more consistent and considerably more predictable uh, of a blaster. So we're super pleased with it. And until next time, this is Chris for Project Nerd.